you need to stop flashing like this. When you flash like this, you need to wait for the flash to pop before you can peek. If you flash the top of the doorway instead, you can create a one-way flash for yourself and peek with it, which will either force your enemies to turn away while you are peeking them or be blinded. And this can be done on almost every doorway on any map. It's your favorite Radiant Player Rem here, and this is just one of the many Yoru tricks that I'm going to be teaching you in today's video so that you can play Yoru just like a Radiant Player. And for a chance to win a free Valorant Battle Pass, don't forget to drop a like and comment below which part of today's video that you learned the most from. Let's start off with a simple tip. On defense, it's usually best to use your Yoru teleport at the start of rounds to send it to the other side of the map. This will allow you to rotate instantly if your teammates need help on the other side. But alternatively, you can use your Yoru teleport lineup to get into their spawn like using this one on Ascent. You can also use these teleport lineups on attack to get all the way into their spawn fast and get a very fast flank for some easy frags. Be careful when using these lineups though because if an enemy is holding your teleport, you're basically dead every time. So it's good to throw a flash while teleporting which is known as the flash teleport strat. The timing on your flash teleport is the most important part so make sure to turn around and teleport as soon as your flash makes contact with the surface. This will make it so as soon as you teleport, the flash will pop and you won't be blinded by it, but your enemy will. If you have your alt, there's two key things that you're going to need to know. The shorty has the fastest pullout time out of any weapon in Valorant. So if you have alt, make sure to buy a shorty, then flash the enemy and pop out of your alt and this will get you some free kills. Now everyone has seen the fake clone strat where you pretend to be a Yoru decoy but honestly the best way to learn an agent is to know everything about it and if someone is pretending to be a fake clone or not so you don't end up in a zip tie tiktok. Firstly go to your settings and turn on tactical callouts this will show you a chat message displaying if it's a real enemy or not. You can also use Reyna's ultimate to see which Yoru is real and other abilities like the fade seas will not stop a Yoru clone. And the gecko flash won't affect it as well but you can use your decoy to your advantage to bait certain utility. You can use a Yoru clone to break cypher trips for you or to set off a killjoy alarm bot. Using your decoy to destroy enemies utility will always be strong because it can cause enemies to rotate and then you can take the opposite site with your team with a Yoru teleport. It's also really strong to drop your decoy right before exiting your ultimate as usually they will instantly shoot the decoy and you'll be able to get some free frags. Another really strong tip with the decoy is the flash fake clone strat. Place a fake clone on the floor and then throw a flash and activate your Yoru clone so they think that it's you peeking with the flash. When they shoot the clone, peek with it and they'll all be blind for some free frags. If you're going to flash out of a smoke, don't flash like this. Instead, flash right off the floor. This one pops much faster and is much harder for them to turn from. You guys, some of my favorite Yoru teleport lineups for both sides on every map so you can start using them to abuse your enemies. Starting off on bind, if you stand right in front of this plank here in this corner and aim at the bottom left of this shadow from the side of this little thing on the roof, and throw your Yoru TP lineup. This one will come up long and go through B site around the right hand side and then go into CT and move all the way into their spawn. So you could literally get a flank in a matter of seconds. Next on ascent, if you stand in front of this Radiantite box and aim at the top of this lamp post and throw your teleport lineup, it'll go through A main and go out main all the way through sight into hell. This one is gonna be really strong if you're pushing sight, you can TP into hell while your team is coming through to help them out. Now for defense, if you stand in front of this box and aim at the bottom left of this box on the wall and throw your Yoru teleport, this one will go through a main and past the Radiantite boxes that we just were at. And this one will actually go past Gelato all the way into their spawn so you can get a really fast flank with this one. You can also come in tiles and aim right at this X on tiles and throw this one. This one will go through mid and then it'll make its way past pizza all the way to their spawn which is really strong it can flank a or b really fast and it can be really effective next on fracture stand in front of this pipe here and aim right in the middle of this hexagon you can throw this your teleport lineup it'll go through main and make its way up the stairs and past site it'll land in tower and it can be really good for causing a distraction or to create rotations now for haven if you stand in this corner and aim at these little stagnites in the sky it can be really good 
for a C take. You can throw this one and it'll land back plat. It'll go right through site. And this one's really strong when your team's taking the site. You can teleport and help them crunch the site player. Now from C long, if you stand in this corner right here and line up with the corner of this building or the edge, should I say, you can throw this one. It'll run all the way up C long and pass the right hand side of site to their spawn. This one will go literally to where they buy guns. So it's really effective. You can flank all three of the sites with this in a matter of seconds. So this is definitely one you're gonna wanna. Next from a short, you can aim at this brick in the wall over here. And this one will actually go up short through sight and all the way into hell, which is another really strong one for helping your team pinch the site when they're taking a. Next from long, if you aim in the middle of this ridge on the roof and throw this one, it'll go through default site and it'll actually make its way to their spawn and all the way to where they buy guns. It's really strong if you're trying to get a flank off when they do a killjoy alt or something like that. So it's one to learn. Next on split from this corner, if you aim to the right of this little triangle here and throw this one, this will go all the way up ramp through a heaven and make its way to their spawn. It can make for a really good fast flank if your team is taking a. Next from in ropes, if you stand here and aim at this little bolt at the top of the vent store and throw your Yoru TP lineup, it'll make its way through mid, then through market and somehow end its way behind B main. So you can use this for a really fast flank on B main if they're going B. Next from rubble, if you stand in this corner and aim at the bottom of this broken rock right here and simply throw your Yoru teleport, it'll make its way through all of mid and then through their link and still find its way into their spawn. This one's really strong because there's three sides so you can get a flank on all three really early in the round. Finally, off spawn, if you stand at this brick and aim at the corner of this wall, you can throw this Yoru teleport lineup and it'll go all the way through a rubble and make its way into their spawn. Again, on defense, you can get a really fast flank on any of the bomb sites. Now for Pearl, if you stand in this little corner right here and line up with the edge of this wall right here and throw your Yoru teleport, this one will go out main and it'll go past the left-hand side of site and make its way into flowers. This one is really strong for crunching site with your team. So it's definitely one you're gonna wanna learn. Next from B long, if you stand against this line and aim in this little discoloration on the wall, you can throw this teleport lineup. And this one will actually go from B long all the way through under heaven and into their spawn. This literally goes to where they buy guns. So this one can be for a really fast flank in the first seconds of the round and it's really effective. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. We are so close to 100k. Help me get there, boys. And yeah, if you have any questions, make sure to join the Discord to ask me. And I stream live on Twitch. The link is in the description. Peace out.